Hello everyone, we are Team Nanyang 13. Our team ID is SG1303. Our team members are Sophie and Chevelle. We are 12 years old living in Singapore. We study in Nanyang Primary School and we have been in this CCA for two years. Exclusive summary of preliminary challenge. Task to pass all wave points within the shortest amount of time. Category Cold Spaces are kept Cold Spaces Autonomous Driving U12 1 to 2 students. Problem What is the best and most efficient one? Method Try every path and see which one is the best and most efficient path. Result We were able to find the best roof after much tries. Conclusion, although it took us a while to complete the presentation, but during the process of doing, we got to know more about each other. Analysis, to pass all wave points within the shortest amount of time. The mission of the Coast Spaces Driving Challenge U12 is to pass all wave points and reach the finish line in the fastest time. Crossing every wave point is considered as a mini task. All the overall missions were solved when we completed our mini tasks. AL algorithm and resources. Algorithm, we match the speed of the robot moving forward to the speed of the robot turning so that the robot will be going in a consistent direction rather than tracing the lines by moving side by side. We slow down the robot when it is Near a checkpoint as there will be a junction nearby so the robot will not go out of track. We use the Cold Spaces Auto Driving 2021. Implementation. Method. Try every path and see which is the most efficient one. Flow chart. Step 1 to step 6 is our flow chart. We use the 6 steps to program the robot to follow line tracing. Debugging. Sometimes, the robot does not always go as we planned. It sometimes turns in circles suddenly, so we had to close the window and open it again. Other times, we coded wrongly or we typed in the wrong number. For example, the speed is supposed to be 60, but we put minus 60 instead. We run a test run and fix the problem. We should not give up when we encounter any problems. We need to find out what is wrong and then fix it. Conclusion and further work. We were quite satisfied with the results as they were better than expected. If we had another chance, we would definitely aim to improve our timing. We needed to find out the shortest route for us to complete the task. The speed of the robot could be changed as well and we could also use the timer function or color sensing function. Learning experience. We had a great experience in participating in this challenge. We were able to develop values and skills such as problem solving and teamwork. We learned the importance of time management and communication skills. The RoboCup Challenge has been a wonderful learning experience and we hope to share with others what we have learned through this competition. We wish to share with other participants not to give up and face the problems. Thank you.